today's tutorial, we're going to go over the file manager in HubSpot. The file manager is essentially where you host all of your premium content, your PDFs, your videos, images, Word documents, PowerPoint presentations, anything that you would want uh, to be accessible through your website. Um, all of your images really for uh, placing on your on your website and use as assets throughout your website is all housed within the HubSpot file manager. So to get to the file manager, uh, we're going to go to marketing, files and templates, and files. This is going to give you a list of all of your assets um, right off the bat. If this is a new account, you won't see anything here, obviously. Um, but a good you know best practice is to make sure that uh, you set up a good foldering system because folders are gonna how are gonna be how you make sure that you keep everything in line. Um, so essentially, to create a new folder, you're gonna do create folder, and you're just gonna name it, you know, whatever it is. So it could be something like you know blog images, or you know maybe it's email images, or it's just videos. You know, it's whatever you need to be. You can create a folder for it. As soon as you make that folder. Um, you can just simply drag and drop uh, whatever you need into um, this folder from your computer. So that could be, you know, that uh, featured image for that blog post. It could be that PDF version of one of your premium content guides. All you have to do is drag and drop it directly into this folder. You can't upload files directly, and it would just open up um, your directory on your computer that you can choose directly from you know your desktop or your downloads or other folders on your computer um, an important thing to note about uh, the, the assets in the file manager is naming conventions um, so essentially let's I stock so at, by default anytime you download an iStock photo it's gonna come as as the the asset name as iSoc and usually a string of numbers or letters or characters. Um, normally you're gonna want to change it so whenever you upload this and use it inside of a blog post, it's not going to be iStock number 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 number. It's gonna be something like roses laying on top of a white laptop. Uh, so the purpose is that is going to be used as the default alt text uh, when you load that image onto a page. And it's just a great way to be able to find this image later when you're searching for it. Uh, because if you're looking for this image, it's not super easy to think, okay, I should search for iStock. I should actually search for, you know, roses or laptop or something like that to help you find it in the file manager at another point in time. Another important feature of um, uploading assets into the file manager is image size. Uh, so again, if we go back to let's say the iStock photo um, you know this one for example is 852 kilobytes because it's a 2716 pixel wide photo um, unless this is being used for some sort of high-res hero banner image um, if it's just being used in like a 900 pixel wide uh, blog post um, template then there's no really good reason to keep it this large uh, because at the end of the day um, we don't want to be loading a large file if we don't need to be. Um, HubSpot does do some automatic resizing as well as automatic uh, loading to help compress and uh, ease the burden that it takes for an internet connection to load a heavy file. Uh, but a good rule of thumb is that whenever you're loading an image into the file manager, you want to run it or at least resize it to be the appropriate size of where it's actually going to be used. Um, you're never really going to need an image that's 6,000 pixels wide. So it's a good, you know, best practice just to resize it down to like, you know, 1920, 1440 pixels wide, maybe even just 1,000 pixels wide, as well as even if it's just, you know, still a little too hefty, like above 600 kilobytes, you could always run it through a compressor. Um, one of my favorites is Tiny PNG, and you can simply just grab the image that's on your computer and drag it into this box right here and I'll compress it for you and then once it's compressed you can go back to the file manager and upload it into the folder that you need it to be uh, but let's say you know you had some sort of you know PDF um, you know we have this or at least like this cover right here this is a you know beginner's guide to developing pseudo personas uh, it's a cover image for you know some sort of guide 
Uh, but let's say there was a typo or we actually wanted to update the name to be something else. Well, instead of actually uploading a new image and then trying to find everywhere that this image was used, we could simply replace this image itself so that anytime this image is used, it's actually being used with the updated image. So, you know, let's say your designer comes to you and they give you that updated cover photo. You're going to want to find the original photo um, in the file manager, click on it so that it kind of shows this little preview, and then do a replace. And so you're going to replace it with that updated photo again. When you click on this, it's going to upload, you know, directly into, um, you know, where you have all of your photos. Um, and so you can just grab the photo from your computer and, and replace it directly into this files details area. So once that's uploaded, everywhere that this image is used, you know, we'll be now be using that updated image. Um, you want to wait a few minutes. It's going to take a while for it to for that change to actually propagate. So you might not see that updated image immediately because it could be cached. Um, but just know that, you know, refresh it, come back to it in 10 minutes, go work on something else until that is finally propagated. That is it for the file manager.